Hey guys, Ryan here again, Ryan Type Rain. Just wanted to show you today just uh, finalizing up the uh, new Hummingbird Mega Transducer Mount. Um, got it all wrapped up here over the weekend and uh, just wanted to show you guys. So this mount here is going to work with all the uh, uh, Mega Transducers that uh, normally bolt onto the bracket. Um, this one here is the uh, factory mount. Um, so you can see this one here doesn't have a through bolt, so you tighten it down. You have to physically lock both solid. Um, you can still move because you're only dealing with the, the short bolt there. Um, don't have as much adjustment. And the mount basically is flush with the bracket, which isn't a very good design. It doesn't allow you to get the uh, transducer deep enough for running at speed and whatnot. Um, hard to get it into good clean water when the actual bracket is deflecting that uh, water. So um, basically I came up with uh, the new mount here. Basically very, very similar to uh, my Lawrence mount that uh, has been uh, really, really popular for the 3 in 1 or Total Scan. Same basic design, um, a lot of the exact same features, a few things on this one that are different. Um, so I'll just go over them with you here. So move this out of the way. So, basically, all 8th inch stainless steel, laser cut, CNC formed, um, solid as a rock, 3H through bolt, 3 8 inch through bolt. Um, basically, when you tighten this down, the through bolt actually gets pinched, so it becomes solid. Um, like all my mounts, you can tighten it down as tight as you want. You can make it as tight as you can go, basically. The mount then could act as like a step if you need to. You'd never do that, but... Uh, just it would be solid as can be or you can actually just tighten it down until it's just snug and uh, basically at that point uh, you make it so that it doesn't move when it's in the water but if anything comes in contact with the transducer it just pivots up um, in order to do that you want to set that when it's in the water um, because uh, water acts as a little bit of lubricant so if you set it up at like this tight right here now when it's in the water it might be really easy so you're going to want to uh, set that when it's in the water wet um, and uh, just see how it is but uh, lots of guys run it either way guys that are in uh, good clear deep water they'll uh, lock it down solid and uh, have no issues but uh, bass guys that are running around uh, stumps and logs and everything else they may want to have it loose so it's a personal preference whatever you want to do there um so it's got all the holes there for it see the logo running over the wire so the wire goes down underneath the through uh through uh bolt there and then uh, comes up through the actual grommet this grommet's like all my other mounts um so basically it's a grommet with a slice put it around the wire and then uh, you just uh, push it in. And then it's just like that, nice and uh, top there. It keeps everything nice and clean, out of the way, no pinching, no chafing. You're not gonna cut the cable or anything. Um, so that works well there. The actual slots on the back, um, you still get three, of course, like you had, but they're full slots, so you can put screws wherever you want in there. There's about a quarter inch more up-down travel than uh, was with uh, the stock mount. I also incorporated this little bit of a deflection, um, so uh, you can actually plunge the bracket actually deeper into the water, and uh, the water's going to hit and then deflect down around instead of shooting or hitting the actual back of the bracket. Um, so it works really well, but ideally... When you set these things up for running it plain on wide open throttle, um, basically you just want to have usually a quarter inch, half an inch of uh, the actual transducer in the water. But like the Lawrence's, um, the deeper you go and the better clear water hitting it and uh, going off, the uh, better chance they have at reading. So that's why a lot of these uh, Hummingbird guys have been talking to me because they can't uh, read it plain. But, uh, you know, you get a big uh, Lawrence structure scan transducer that's almost double the length and uh, you can read at 50, 60 miles an hour mark fish. So um, that's the main reason why there is just a uh, setup. So um, lots of fine tuning adjustment um, with the actual slots in the back so you have more travel. Plus, you have infinite uh, adjustability there, so you can. Uh, there's nothing to lock down. Um, one of the thing that uh, guys like about uh, my Lawrence brackets when I've incorporated into these is uh, kind of hard to see, but there's a little uh, mark right there. Um, basically, what you're going to do, you get this thing out, you run it, 
you got your arches are perfect you're reading at uh, speed you come back to uh on shore and uh, once it's all dried off all you do is take a sharpie and uh, just mark on the inside part of the mount right there and that becomes a little locating indicator so you know if your uh, transducers ever moved on you you know if you hit something you can easily put it back down to where it is you don't have to start from scratch all over again um, so that works really good that way um, so go to the actual brackets so this one here is the stock height bracket that was the same one that was just bolted to the transducer so that's how they come everything's loose um, I also have available this one here is basically specs are identical to the factory mount um, I also have available like I do with the Lorentz mounts are two different height heights of upper brackets um, so this one here is the raising bracket and then uh, you get the bracket that actually uh, will lower the actual transducer which this one here is on already so I'll just show you I've got two brackets right here with uh, the difference in height so this is the raising one so what this does um, say you need some sort of adjustment you don't want to drill new holes in your transom you order the upper bracket separately off the site um, and I've got these ones here labeled there so that's an RTH 1000B um, that's the raised bracket that will allow for three quarters of an inch of drop with keeping the holes in the exact same spot where you had before so if you don't have enough travel with the standard mount you can go with uh, the other additional upper bracket the brackets all come with this mount so when you buy it it comes with this one and you just need to get the additional upper bracket it's just going to come like this that uh, you take it off and bolt the new one on and then there's also my lowering bracket and a lot of guys really like this one um, especially the uh, Lawrence guys that are running rangers and nitros that uh, you know they don't have as much room down under the step but they want to be able to run their transducer still reading it plain um, where the factory one was too high just up like there wasn't enough clearance there you can actually get away with uh, running it a little bit lower um, that works really well one other cool thing that the uh, Lawrence guys will do um, is actually take one of my upper brackets like this one this one I've got tightened down so I'll click undo it and uh, for the guys that run Rangers Nitro bolts with steps is they will run the mount actually backwards I'll quick do this to show you you're able to do this with the uh, hummingbirds also Just realize I'm missing the washer on that one so basically um, So this here works well for guys that want the, uh, not necessarily being able to run at speed, but they want to uh, be able to tuck it in under the step um, so that you can actually uh, have more clearance and not get in the way of the engine and stuff. So your side scan isn't picking up, uh, you know, the tail shaft of the motor or whatnot. So if you think about if this was the transom, you know, that's eight inches here. Um, where if you could go mount it in reverse under the step it's never going to be in water once it's up on plane so you won't be able to read there you wouldn't want to anyway with this end sticking this way um, but uh, you know you're tucked right in under so you get good view you get loads of space in between the uh, the transom and the actual tail shaft of the motor um, so you'll be able to get good side scan images there um, and then you can run uh, the lowest mount doesn't work but you can run either the standard mount or the uh, the, the tall one in that uh, that way. So I'll click to this one here just to show you. 
again, these things just all come off real nice and easy. And Here we go. So it all depends on how much heat clearance you have up on the top. If you're running a transom that has a piece of a puck board or transducer board, um, you may want to go with the taller one just so you can get it in right. Um, the other th cool thing about doing it um, is you're able to put it on the transom and then still level your transducer to the water. Um, so, you know, your bolt might be, your transom might be on an angle like this at the back under the step, and you can still adjust your transducer bracket um, to be able to get in under the step and uh, read that way. So as soon as I get some pictures of uh, some guys that do it, um, I will uh, post it on uh, the website and uh, show that. Um, I've got lots of uh, Lawrence guys that do it, and uh, they have great luck and uh, just the way of getting these larger uh, transducers out of the way. Like I say, the only thing you have to do then is actually turn your image around when you're uh, um, on the graph so that your left and right are on the right side. Um, so that'll work well. So in this case, your wire is going to come back down and then up through. Um, you can either bring it all the way back around and up or straight up the bracket. Work really good that way. So that's the uh, new Hummingbird uh, transducer. Um, transducer bracket by me, uh, Rytec, of course. The RTH-1000 and then the uh, RTH-1000B is the upper bracket for this one. And then 1000C is uh, the lowering bracket. The lowering bracket, I should have said, uh, gives you a half-inch drop. Um, so that's actually this one here, then that gives you the difference in height, half inch, it drops it, plunges it down real deep. And like I say, this one here is handy for a guy with a really short step and you want to be able to read it plain or something like that. So that works really good. So any questions, give me a shout here on the uh, YouTube page, or you can email me uh, at sales at ridetechmarine.com, reach me through Facebook or Instagram, or uh, just uh, message me directly through the website, of course, or you can give me a call anytime. So that's it. Thanks a lot, guys.